YouTube. Hope you guys are doing good. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a garden update. Here is my plum tree. Um, I think this is the fourth or fifth year. And if you can uh, just experience how a plum tree smells, it's very similar to um, Jolly Rancher candy. It's very fruity smelling. It's so sweet and uh, very fruity flavors, uh, smell. So love the, the fragrance this um, plum tree is giving out. Not sure which variety it is, uh, but it's really really nice in the springtime. Um, over here I have another kind of plum tree and I Um, they always flavor but I have not gotten any fruits from them so I'm hoping that this year 2023 is going to be a fruiting year um, it looks very well developed and uh, and tons and tons of flowers as you can see every single branch is filled with so many buds and flowers afternoon when their sun is out this tree is filled with hundreds of uh, honeybees so I know there's a lot of pollination happening um, so I'm just hopeful that we will be hopefully getting some uh, plums this year so I am happy as we're making this video um, but if you notice this is the tape where the tree had actually broken down because of a really strong wind and I had uh, taped it up with uh, electric tape and that's from many many years ago and uh, it survived. This tree has survived many problems. It had uh, been eaten down over here on the bottom by either rabbits or some, some animal and again I taped it up hoping it will uh, survive and uh, it is closed up and uh, repaired itself and it's doing good. So hopefully this year it thrives. another peach tree I have. Uh, this does not have as many blossoms as the other plum tree has. Uh, the fragrance is not as strong as plum trees. It does have some fragrance but not, not nothing even close to what plum trees have. Um, but it has beautiful blossoms but not very many. I did a very uh, major pruning last year um, and the main reason was that I wanted it to not grow too tall so it's easier for me to continue pruning and uh, have bigger uh, more stronger fruits um, I always keep getting the bugs in the trees so again I'm hoping that this year it will produce fewer but bigger fruits and hopefully worm free fruits. This is a persimmon tree. Um, it's a fairly young tree. I've only had it for two years. So I don't expect any fruiting from it, uh, even though it is developing some. I mean, zoom in. You can see it is developing some fruit flowers that will turn into a small, tiny fruit and it will fall fall out 
and the main reason is because uh, it's just so young that it won't produce it won't hold on to the fruit for the first few years this is another persimmon tree it's not uh, not yet uh, bloomed yet but I see there is a life it's not dead as you can see here it has it has growth points and it's still supple so it will produce flowers and leaves just like the other one did this is one year old that one is two years old um, this is another peach tree we love peaches um, beautiful flowers love the flowers on this peach tree and uh, it's a couple of years old um, I'm hoping that this guy is going to produce or this gal is going to produce this is peach Alberta uh, hopefully I'll have some peach this year uh, that one already produces this one has not produced yet I'm gonna move the water The next plum tree. And uh, continue showing you guys the rest of the fruit trees. Here are some of the, the flowers that are almost dying down. The daffodils are multiplying every year. I just had a couple of packets actually just one packet that I think had like 30 bulbs of daffodils and I have some over here some on the patio and they're all um, doing really wonderful so I have way more than 30 um, I think it has at least doubled if not tripled since I purchased these uh, daffodils here are some blackberries they're already f flowering, so I should be getting um, blackberries in about a month. This is mid-March, almost late March, so hopefully by early May I will have blackberries. Here is my very old um, peach tree. Um, it's really actually a peach tree that originally broke um, you can see the original wood from the peach tree let me zoom in so you can see and then um, this peach tree um, so the original tree actually died okay and then there is the roots were still there and it started growing from the bottom and I was like okay um, if it's wanting to grow um, that's okay so it is not the original variety that I purchased because that was grafted but it is the um, I guess the base variety of peach and whatever that base variety of peach is it produces very small peach however the peaches are very fragrant and very sweet and I love these peaches over all the other peaches so this is like um, you know I don't know which variety but it um, produces very small but very fragrant peaches and um, the main reason I wanted to cut it down was again lots of bugs I keep getting too many bugs within inside the peach itself so I'm trying to keep it small and so I'm gonna try and I already sprayed it with copper spray and I'm gonna continue spraying with some organic neem oil and BT um, so hoping that um, I get some peaches this year without the bugs uh, because it's not fun when you try and bite in one of these peaches and you get um, all these uh, worms inside so and this is my old, old persimmon. Um, it has produced very few persimmon uh, in past, maybe about four or five persimmons altogether. A not very productive tree yet. Uh, I'm hoping 
that this year it changes that. Um, so yeah, it will produce a lot of, like this is from last year, it will produce the flower and it will turn into a persimmon and then uh, it will drop it off. So it keeps dropping it off. Uh, maybe it is lacking in some nutrition. Um, so I'm hoping uh, to give it a lot more um, uh, potassium and some other uh, nutritional supplements uh, instead of just compost. So in previous years, I've only given them forest manure and goat manure, but this year I am um, going to be giving some fruit tree uh, just potassium and magnesium so I'm hoping that that should help in flowering and retaining the fruit itself so yeah so far I, I don't see any flowering growths yet it's I guess too er, uh, too late compared to the other persimmon tree but nonetheless it is still um, working on opening so I see it right here it's very small but it's coming through right here too, over here. They're small, but uh, it's opening up. So that's about that. And then over here, I have the fig tree. Um, this fig is very fragrant, um, but very, very small. You can see all the dead figs that I did not produce, because uh, did not harvest because it was too cold and it was not uh, ripe. So those are the old figs um, and hopefully this year it'll produce some bigger figs and uh, yeah, and I can hopefully get them before it's uh, too cold. Like last year, all these figs are on the top. Um, they're too small and not edible because they were just not ripe and um, so, so that's about it. I have a few more trees in that area. I have, uh, some pomegranate trees that I planted last year, but they have not, they have died down completely, but I'm hopeful that, uh, they will come back. Um, and over here I have a f LSU fig which has also died down completely. Um, but you see all these stems coming up again. Um, so it did come up with, from the stems, but it died again. So I'm hoping that there will be new stem growth coming through from the ground. Um, I've never had a fig that just continues to grow straight up uh, from the original plant um, just because of the cold weather we get here in Dallas area um, so yeah that's the problem with the uh, growing figs and uh, until they're established which is about two or three years um, they will for me it has been always dying down and then uh, it'll grow like a bush like the other one I showed you this is an Asian pear um, it is three years old. It has not produced any Asian pears yet. I have not pruned this tree also. Um, the main reason is because this tree's main purpose is not just fruit. It is also shade for my animals on that side. Um, so this is the Shin Shinshki pear. Asian pear um, so I'm I'm looking forward to hoping that there are some fruits this year if not next year um, but like I said this is a multi-purpose uh, tree for us we need some shade on that side for the animals these are just the pecan trees um, they are budding lots and lots of pecans buds on them and this is another uh, just a shade tree not a fruit tree 
Mm. Let me show you guys the This is the pomegranate trees, but like I said, it's completely died. But I'm hoping that it'll regrow from the bottom again. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are having a wonderful spring like we are. And I'm hoping to get some of that rain. The clouds are <laughs> growing darker, so we need all the rain we can get. Thank you guys for watching and have, have a happy spring.